we are. West Philadelphia. Look at this. This is probably like an abandoned, not abandoned, but like a vacant lot. And the neighbors have uh, claimed the vacant lot. And they have little patio furniture. And they have little, oh, seats so you can sit in. They also have a little free library. Now, these things are all over the city. You, If you have a book, you're done reading it, you just pop it in there. And if somebody wants to take a book, they could take a book. Uh, what's that? Orchard? How, now, what's the deal with this? Um, like, the, the city owned this? Or do you guys, like, the neighbors own it? The no. We petitioned three years with the city so it would be kept a permanent green space. Oh. You know, William Penn had it um, so many square blocks or distance that it should be a park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big believer. This is one of those small local parks. All right, back at it. Well, isn't that awesome that that entire park is trash? And it may not look fantastic right now because, you know, we're in getting ready to head into December. But I think that's pretty uh, pretty awesome that that guy does all that stuff to, with recycled uh, stuff. Let me uh, just figure out where I'm at. I'm at 32nd and Wallace. So if you go in that direction, that's where the University of Pennsylvania is. Uh, Drexel University. Uh... Penn, Drexel, and there's another one. I forget what the other colleges are. But anyway, that's all. So, like, if, if, if a neighborhood around here is called University City. So, there is a lot of development going on in this area. Just like a lot of areas in Philadelphia. A lot of spots where there were vacant lots. Um, they're now building stuff. And that's... Um, so since a lot of college kids live near this area, a lot of the, uh, there was a lot of apartments uh, for the college kids. And also families and working class people live here. I know if you go up a little bit, uh, West Philly gets a little, um, a little bit more dangerous. Oh, look at this, we got a mural. Dr. Andrew Jenkins. There he is. And West Philly. I only really hung out, I think it's on 34th Street and Lancaster Ave. I, I, I spent some time when I was a punk rocker. We would uh, play clubs on uh, Lancaster Ave. Um play squat houses which were houses that these punk rock kids like punk rock homeless kids they would just take over these abandoned buildings and then occasionally they would uh have punk rock shows inside of them i'm talking big bands too play these uh these squat houses the vandals was a punk band or they still are a punk band um uh, who else? I mean, God, Dropkick Murphys. First time I ever saw the Dropkick Murphys was in a squat house off of Lancaster Ave. And I think there was more members of the Dropkick Murphys than there were people in the crowd. That's probably not true, but it wasn't that high of a number. Now, you see, on this wall, there are animals painted on this wall, and that's because we are coming up to the Philadelphia Zoo. All right, so we're gonna go to the zoo. Know what's fun about this little, I've never done. I've never done. I've never done finish my English class. Know what's sad, my English teacher, Mr. Verderami, is still with us. And uh, I know he watches my stuff sometimes. And um, the reason why I say he's still with us is because I, you know, you figure he would probably end his life after hearing the way I talk. 
So the Philadelphia Zoo is not only a zoo, it's a filming location. They made the movie... Oh, I'm going to say Split. But it could also be Glass. I think it was Split. And, uh... Oh, I wonder how many animals we can see from outside the zoo. Oh. Philadelphia Zoo is the oldest zoo in America. Um, opened in the late 1800s. Look at that fence with the... That's pretty... Uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm thinking this, like these fences, they're probably from the 1800s. They're, they're, they look a little old. Look at the detail with the animals on top. There used to be a monorail in this zoo. Which, thinking about it now, seems kind of silly because it's not that big. Matter of fact, you can see there is, that's part of the monorail. Right up there, that, I believe that's part of the monorail. What, it just like, uh, what they did is they repurposed some of the monorail, repurpose, reuse, recycle. Uh, they, and they use some of the parts of the monorail they use it for like monkeys to climb on, um, all types of, uh, well, I think just monkeys to climb on. Man, they really have it, so you can't see any animals from the outside. I'm going to tell you a pet peeve of mine. One of my, my least favorite things about places that you have to pay to go into, like um, like the zoo. Uh, I hate when p places make you pay for parking when they own uh, the uh, the lot. They have a thing like I don't know. It just it just pisses me off. Um, they have a thing going on here at the zoo during the nighttime. It's called Illumination Nights or something. And uh, you, um, they, they have all these different lights and exhibits at the park. Um, that house, oh. Mm. That house, I think William Penn's grandson may have lived in. Oh, 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 an animal. Oh, we win. Free zoo trip. Oh, a kangaroo? Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm going to call these things emus. All right? You an emu? Uh... There it is. This is the main. Oh no, the main entrance is right here. These are the original gatehouses of the zoo. Uh, when the zoo was built, they, these were built. Oh, I wonder if these were done by Frank Furness. He's a an ar a Philadelphia architect. I bet you these were done by Frank Furness. I could be wrong. I'll be writing book reports. And the zoo's closed today. There's a lot of things, but what the hell is today? Tuesday. This is the second video I try. I was trying to make a video at a Christmas spot called Kindies, and they're closed on Tuesdays. I think. Uh.
All right, back into West Philly. We're on Mantua Ave. Huh. Well, let's, uh... Look at this. Mantua. Mantua. That's what it sounds like. A Mantua. And if you go down this street, maybe four or five miles, you'll probably be in one of the uh, richer sections of this area. I don't. It might be right outside of Philly. Haverford. I used to work in Haverford. I hated it. Hated it. One of the worst jobs I ever had. Let's see. Where we at? I was a uh, kosher food salesman. I would go around selling kosher food. And uh, <clears throat> not just kosher food, organic food. And uh, I would stock and rotate and, and, and just people were rude. I, it's probably the worst boss I ever had. One of the bosses. You ever have a boss that just points out everything wrong you're doing and never says anything positive? So yeah, I worked for that guy. He got fired. Uh, there was like a rule that you weren't allowed to use your company's laptop. Um except for work stuff. And he got caught, um, he got caught going on some websites that you're not supposed to go on, uh, adult websites. And I'm just, I always, whenever I hear about stuff like that, I'm like, how horny can you be that you can't pick up your phone, you had to use your work computer that you're not allowed to use, that they, oh, it was crazy. But it was a really happy ending to his. I quit the job because of, because of him, and hearing he got fired because he went to a dirty website. Just, it's funny the things that make you smile. All right, we're at Spring Garden, 31st and Spring Garden. We're going to go this way. Money over sleep, better in the middle. We're going into uh, the museum district. I really don't know much about West Philadelphia. Like I said, I only spent time. No, I don't like. I don't like the way this is going. I, I spent a lot of time at the punk shows, the zoo, you know. But it's, I'm amazed on how how the city connects. Like the zoo and the art museum are so close to one another. Like they're it's walkable. It's definitely a walkable thing and. This is the uh, Vine Street Expressway. Some call it Route 676. Uh, I just shit myself because of how high I am. Wow. Oh, oh, this is high. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, oh shit. I got to get off the scooter. Look at this. That's Martin Luther King Drive, and I, I'm not sure if it's still just for bikes only, but during the pandemic, bikes only. It was awesome. 
oh man, this is so scary. That waterfall is the Fairmount Dam. And uh, those houses behind the Fairmount Dam is Boathouse Row. Oh, I'm so scared right now. At Boathouse Row is where all the college rowing teams, that's where they uh, store their boats. I can't believe I am all in the... Oh, wow. And now we're behind the art museum. That's the art museum. Uh, actually, that's that we're looking at right there. That's the modern art wing of the museum. Well, the first floor. And yeah, maybe I'll go to the art museum. Yeah. Now, if you look here, that is the Fairmount Waterworks. And this was like a pumping station that they would use to pump water all throughout the city of Philadelphia. Underneath, uh, like that pavilion with the curtains hanging, if you go underneath there, there are, uh, there are some pools. And, uh, they're not pools no more. It's actually a museum now. But you could, you, back in the day, in like the early 1900s, you could go swimming underneath uh, the Fairmount Waterworks. And if you're going to check out the Fairmount Waterworks, just to let you know, it's a free museum. It's, a, it's definitely worth free. Man, this is steep. Woo! Holy shit. <laughs> Let's see, where can we go? Let's get back to the car. Let's do that. And um, also they do uh, scientific uh, research for on the water of the city of Philadelphia. And uh, they do that in that section of the museum. There's a guy who works for the Philadelphia Water Department, and one of the ways they could tell how the water, uh, or no, what do you, they do, they're doing this thing to clean the water in the city, is they're dumping all these mussels, and uh, their mussels are like, uh, here's a fountain from 1865, uh, and the mussels are like uh, nat nature's filters for water. Um, so this is a fountain from the 18, 1865. There was a summer in the 1800s in the city of Philadelphia where horses, I think it was over 30,000 horses died in one year. So there was uh, a movement to make all these fountains in the city. I think that's a little pre, I think that's just a fountain here because of the Fairmount Water Dam. Uh, but there are still horse fountains in the city of Philadelphia that they use for horses. Okay, I have to get back up there. Um, oh no, I can go over here. A, uh, last year there was Hurricane Ida. Matter of fact, you can still, there's some debris. There's not many signs of Hurricane Ida, but if you look underneath the bridge, there's that big log and a clump of wood. Those, that's debris that was stuck on that bridge. That's from Hurricane Ida. The, the, um, this whole section 
of of uh, this path of the Schuylkill Trail. This is the Schuylkill River, um, and this is the Schuylkill River uh, Trail. Uh, this whole thing was underwater. This were up to that up to that beam. I don't get money. All right, now we're back at it. Which bridge do I need to be on? I need to go up one more. Whenever I go up hills. Oh, this is the Spring Garden Street Bridge. And cars do go down it now. Something, something I, I don't know, it's a kind of like a metaphor for life. It's whenever I uh, have to walk up a hill, I never, I put my head down. I don't look at the top of the hill. I just keep my head down and I just walk till I get to the top of the hill. And, uh, I think that's a good metaphor in life is, is whenever you want to get something accomplished, don't look at how far away the goal is. Just keep your head down, do the work, and uh, you'll accomplish the goal. I had something rather amazing happen this morning. I have a routine when I wake up in the morning. I uh, finish, I have a routine when I wake up in the morning, I uh, upload my video for the day, and then I uh, start getting ready for the rest of the day, and while I'm getting dressed and all that stuff, I usually watch uh, an upload from Adam the Woo, who is uh, my favorite uh, YouTuber, uh, and he's also the reason um, why I started making YouTube videos is I saw him making stuff and I was like, oh, that looks like a fun job. I want to do that. And I started doing it because of Adam the Woo and Carpetbagger. And uh, today on uh, Adam the Woo's vlog, this happened. popped into my head. Something that Philly Captain, shout out to the Philly Captain, could approve of. I saw the dead milkman dead milkman from Philadelphia right in here I that's one of the coolest things to happen because of this YouTube channel um, is to get him to give me a shout out and uh, there's no way he would even know who I am if I didn't start this YouTube channel you know why because I climbed that hill on YouTube I kept my goddamn head down I kept walking and now Adam the Woo knows who I am. Isn't that something? I, I, I can't believe how close the Philadelphia Zoo and the Philadelphia Art Museum are. Uh, it, crazy. And here we are, back at it. West Philadelphia. Interesting little place to play chess or checkers. Well, listen, if you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. And while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. My merch, it's fire. And if you want to help me out, there's a link below in every video to my Patreon. You get bonus videos, postcards, early previews. And, uh, yeah, that's it. And then uh, if you're not doing anything on Sunday, you could join me for a cup of coffee here live on YouTube. Just click that join button. It's $1.99 a month. Um, and if you want a Christmas greeting or a birthday greeting, you can book me on Cameo. Uh, I can also roast your brother's fantasy football team. That's what most people hire me for in Cameo is to roast people. And uh, I woke up this morning and uh, I called a guy a jerk off. 
And uh, he paid me to call him a jerk off. And uh, it's when you find your calling in life. <laughs> um, which I did. I, 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 you know, so book me on Cameo and let me call someone you know a jerk off. And uh, I guess that's it. Well, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. Toodles!